having won the Grameen Puraskar Award for total sanitation from Government of India and achieving 100% financial inclusion, a few self-help groups, SHGs, were on the lookout for a truly challenging task. The real challenge was to get rid of the innumerable heaps of plastic waste that were found in and around the village. 18 members of the Tarambu, Marudam and Sri Janaki self-help groups decided to take a plunge into this unique venture. They were told that they could get rid of the plastic and make some money from it too. A profitable and interesting proposition. In order to make this activity economically sustainable, Mahali Thittam offered skill training, infrastructural support in the form of machinery and building. Tindikal mawar itu lalu la, orang cikili le, saya nak kuriye, waste le, sari waste mana tu mana tu, plastik yang matum darah beri tu, ada ni, sader mesin le, cut pun ni, anda, tuhgal galai, orang orang cik tu lagi mula mula tu, pera tu lagi lagi mula mula tu, saya pergi ke tu, tar cahai pergi ke tu, anda plastik yang bayar tu tu terkaya, vali orang yang saya pergi tu. The three month long training equipped them with adequate skills to handle waste and convert it into wealth. Then came the offer from bigger food processing units like Anil Food Products, offering waste plastic at their doorsteps. Though the waste had been converted into wealth, marketing posed a bigger challenge to them. How could they actually go about converting plastic into wealth? Here again, the state government extended a long and strong helping hand. The plastic shredder machine is the backbone of their project. The never-ending supply of plastic waste is the fodder that the members of the PLF use to fuel it. The machine is able to free the plastic from the sand and soil. The women who operate the machine feed in the plastic first. The second step is to shred the plastic which is then collected and stored. This shredded plastic becomes the raw material that is used for a variety of purposes. Tar roads are further strengthened with the addition of shredded plastic. Hence, the PLF is able to sell their produce to road contractors who are looking for a steady supply. Now, you might wonder, are these self-help groups satisfied with the success achieved so far? Not at all. They want to make more value-added products like plastic wheels and trolleys for industrial units and much more. The women of Panjambati have learned to look at plastic in a new light. <laughs> Orang sewa ya, saya yang kerana kerja kita, kita pagi di lalang garam. Di lalang kita makal ke modal lah. Ida saman dah mana beli pun orang buku dekannya. Over weight galah ya, sain dah naya orang lapo iye. Kupai yang lalang dah, nihaga kupai yang lalang plastik ya. Sebenarnya seka mana plastik ya, seperti taninya saya kerjus. Ada yang kita kondo untuk buku dekannya. Orang kilo anjuru bani, edut kerja dekannya. Naga tayara, yurko, apa ingra beli pun orang buku dekannya. Weight galah buku dekannya. Orang mati lalang mana, nur nahl vele galah. Yang galah lalang pakar orang lalang. Anja orang galah kalam boi, orang lalang plastik nala, yang galah kedudal. Ada orang tu maru sulit sih kita condong orang, nala nama nila tadi, nila tadi, wewasa ini nila tadi, padu ya kerana dia pergi ingat beli pun orang 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 lekuk orang, kuda tu plastik kali orang orang tu, abang orang beri orang lekas segar cukup orang orang lekuk orang kanan air padu orang orang senja. Panjang, in Tamil means fan, but here is a group of women in Panjang Pati, ushering in a new hope. Let us emulate their zeal.